by users, report writers and other analytical applications. This is the presentation layer of my data warehouse. And the presentation area is the data warehouse as far as the business community is concerned. For business, they won't think you have a staging area, you have a data warehouse in which you have confirmed dimensions, facts, they are not going to care about this. All they are concerned about is the final end query which they run. That is the environment they call it as a data warehouse. It is all business community sees and touches via data access tools. Anyhow, they are not going to uh, eat it as you cook in the kitchen. It is going to be presented very properly. If there is going to be a, a very nice white uh, ceramic plate in which they put at the center is your rice surrounded by all the curries and chutneys and they will have a nice red color sauce added on top of it, a sour cream on top of it and they present in a big plate with a nice uh, waiter coming with a uh, long cap. That is how the data is presented finally. So business touches it it only through the access tools, only through the waiters, not through the uh, not through the chefs, not through the cooking people. So a data mart is a wedge of overall presentation area pie. You know what is a wedge? Wedge is a piece of a uh, piece of potato. So it is a small area of the entire uh, entire um, uh, what is it? Data warehouse. So you are going to present only that to the user, not the entire potato. Because he is not ready to eat the entire potato. He wanted to eat it wedge by wedge. Wedge is the same. No one wants to eat the potato as it is. They wanted it to be cut properly, fried and roasted with good color on top of it. Then they eat it. So a data mart presents the data from a, from a single business process. So data mart, as I told you, we are going to look at it. What Ralph Kimball says and Inman says about it. They are definitely a little different. So each data mod presents the data for a single business process, which means your your HR data is is different from your finance data. So your data mod, which is a HR data mod, is more responsive to the HR queries, but it still can also be responsible uh, to answer a production uh, question because it will have a link between the HR and the production internally to a data warehouse. We will see that. So we insist that the data be presented, stored and accessed in a dimensional schemas. So this is more what is required. Dimensional schema. When I say dimensional, you are going to look at it, how the, the product is doing in market over time. So you look at it time wise. You will see like sales in India for the cars will go up in the month of November because we have the Karthik Masam followed by dimensional schemas. They maintain data in all the perspectives with respect to time and they will also maintain data with respect to items because a woolen item is going to be the one most popular or sold in the winter winter time whereas the cotton item is most popular in the summer time. So you wanted to look through the product with the time also as a dimension. In the same way, if you look at the other side, you will also see how many woolen jackets are being bought by people at in what ages. Like 5 to 10, how is the woolen products doing? 10 to 15, because you will see like while buying a product, if you attend for a survey, they will ask you what is your salary, annual income ranging from those so and so, how many times you visit the shop. These are all the information they are going to uh, look at into different dimensional ways so that they can make a proper business decision but thereby growing their business. So we insist on the data to be presented, stored and accessed in a dimensional schema. It is kind of the cube which I was telling earlier. It should be multi-dimensional. So dimensional modeling is most valuable technique for delivering data to a data warehouse user. So you need to present it in a proper dimensional model, a star schema. We will talk about a star schema for sure. So, if that is presented like that, if the data is inside a cube, it is easy for him to slice and dice, drill across, drill through and do many things with the data. Finally, he wants the presentation layer like this man. This is the better presentation. He is not going to look it into your reports uh, going there. If you see there, uh, notice the uh, this, this particular uh, uh, picture properly. On top of it, if you see personal, financial, healthcare, insurance, manufacturing, you have five subject areas. You are looking at as week to date. 
week to date what is the customer and how much is the shipping you have it there and you have sales sales dashboard market share what is the market share this month and then sales by state so you are looking at by region what it is sales by provenance you are looking at it at more higher level like throughout the world and you are looking at sales performance saying what was our goal our goal was 250000 we reached 275000 so our sales is 110% in canada and finally if you look at it here top 3 products what are the top 3 selling products this month because it is a month of uh, august the top 3 selling products will be surely milk because there is a lot of sweet manufacturing happening in the month of august and september because of of uh, ramzan and uh, and uh, Vinayaka Chauti festival there is a lot of sales of dry fruits there is a lot of uh, uh, sales of uh, of plenty of meat because of the Halim so you'd see the dashboard like this this is how a CEO wants your presentation data presentation layer to be the final thing business is concerned about is only this dashboard guys they don't understand what you manufacture in the kitchen how tough it is to cut the meat how how much care you have taken to actually cook the meat they don't understand that the business intelligence guys will get more brownies the reason is they will say they are the persons who are sitting in the presentation layer the ETLers are the hard working people in the kitchen but the waiter gets the tip the waiter is the person who is the business intelligence guy has more intelligence he will be very 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 uh, interactive with the business he will say as if so he is cooking everything but we the ETLs behind the scene, we are the ones who are cooking it. So be proud to be an ETLer because you are the you are the manufacturer of the product. You are the actually a person who is able to give them the data. The business intelligence guys, they all polish. They put good colors and then give you. So I have a comment from someone. My audio connection got disconnected due to poor internet connection. I am able to view the presentation as of now. Why don't you call on the phone? If you want the pin, it is 17 I remember. Ashok, I see your message. Try to call over the phone. If you have any issues, it could be your network. So try to call from your phone. Any others have this problem? Does any one of you facing this condition? Yeah, that could be problem with the network. Nothing I can do about it. But is it okay now? Is it audible to everyone now? Okay, so we are almost actually past one o'clock, but uh, what do you want me to do? If you have everything planned for something else, I will continue the presentation tomorrow because I don't want uh, to uh, entirely take away your Saturday, make you unhappy about it. So, uh, can I stop at the better presentation layer and catch up the remaining tomorrow because it may take at least one and a half hours to two hours more to unveil the, uh, everything in data warehousing. Then I will have to talk about the tool how to build this. Guys, you tell me, what are you, one at a time, I see like Syed and Hilal are trying to talk, but please talk one at a time so that I get the essence of it. Okay, and uh, yeah, for rest of the guys, even before we end the, end the session, uh, let us give uh, five more minutes for everyone to have their question hour. Uh, it's not one hour, uh, for let us say question minute. So each one of you have a couple of minutes to uh, to take. I can take few questions, guys. It's your time. So we'll end saying the basic architecture of a data warehouse is being revealed, and I I I I hope that you have understand the essence of building a data warehouse and how it should be presented to the customer finally. Okay, so go ahead with your questions. We'll come in the alphabetical order again.
If you guys are okay for next five minutes, can I just go around the room? Guys, is it okay? Okay. I know that Ashok had some problem, but uh, Ashok, if you are on the call, if you have any questions, it's when I say that it is more like, uh, uh, okay, let us come into the presentation layer itself. So a data mart is actually a subset of data warehouse. But anyhow, we are going to see the next, uh, next, uh, next two, uh, next class where you will have more information on data, uh, data marts and how we design a data mart. What is a drill across, drill, drill down functionality? What is a top to bottom approach and bottom to top approach? You have everything there. Normalized is always a source system will be in a normalized format, which is our operational transaction processing system. Normalized is more of, of uh, apartment style living, where you have everything in a distributed environment. Everyone stay in their own place. Everyone have access to their own uh, module separately. Whereas Denormalized structure is you are living inside a, a single family home. Everyone have only a common area like uh, like your fact, uh, fa fact table is a common area which is kind of a living room and they access each bedroom from the common area, right? But denormalized structure is more responsive to the business questions. Normalized structure is more responsive only to only to the customer questions. Customer is two types of customer. External customer, who is the actual business, who is the actual uh, god for us, who buys our products is the customer I am talking about. They look at the operational systems. It should be responsive for them. Whereas the, the other customer is internal customer of the business. Who is my CEO, my VP, my sales manager, everyone are the customers of my, my data warehouse. So for them, it is a business process they have to understand. For them, it is it is more of the uh, the data at a summary level, aggregated data they want for their business analysis. Correct. So OLAP is, as I told you, it is the online analytical processing system, and OLAP is always a star schema database, and it should be ready for the dimensional modeling. I mean, when we say dimensional modeling, the person should be able to drill through it. For example, let us say. This is a one of the one of the multi-dimensional uh, OLAP cube which you are looking at. The background we have sales by provenance. What is a provenance? A provenance is 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 bigger than a state. So you are first you are going to look the data by provenance. After you are looking at the data by provenance, let us say there is a red mark in Texas. You wanted to drill down and see why is data, why is the sales less in Texas when Mexico did it properly. Okay. So you are going to drill down in the same report. You are not going to go back to the database again. Your OLAP should be able to get the data in a multi-dimensional array. 